Now, at this hour, several people are still inside of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge in Burns. The FBI has checkpoints set up outside so no one can get in or out without going through the FBI. Andrew Dembert is covering the standoff in Harney County. Today, he talked with people living in Burns about how they feel about what's happened over the past month. Andrew? Well, while federal authorities wait for the militia to leave the refuge one way or the other, we examine how this entire occupation has affected the people in Burns. It's split the town. It's divided. Uh, it's actually more than the town. It's divided the county. As the last burning embers of the occupation start to flame out, the city of Burns can finally start to recover. It's pretty calm laid back here, as you guys probably know. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff happens. This is pretty big. So once that happens, everybody kind of leaves. I think that'll, that'll start helping people heal. Harney County didn't ask for any of this. Even those who may have supported Ammon Bundy and his band of militants, they were still outsiders. We're a strong community. Um, we're a close-knit community. And uh, we'll get through this. Authorities pleaded with the militia to just go home to let Burns be Burns. No matter what side they stood on, this once peaceful community didn't want it to end this way. It didn't have to happen. We all make choices in life. Sometimes our choices go bad. After one of the movement's most recognizable leaders, Lavoy Finicum, was killed, the town put their differences aside and stood in solidarity to say goodbye. And we want to show our respect for him and his family because he gave his life up for us in this county. Who knows how long it'll take for the city to go back to the way things were. But ask anyone in town and they'll tell you they're ready to pick up the pieces one by one. We'll make friends again. We'll get by because that's the way we are. The occupation isn't over yet, but the town's people are hoping that it will be soon and without incident. In Burns, Andrew Dimbert, Coin 6 News.